Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tim Heinoon's Vinyl, your friendly neighborhood vinyl guy. I know it's been a minute. I'm surprised. I still know how to open my damn channel. So let me address the elephant in the room. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship. What the hell happened back here? So I guess one of the hot words right now is purge. I did a purge of my own but it's not as drastic as you think. See, my collection proper, which is all here in bags and stuff like that, is the proper collection. And I have a bunch of stuff from collections that I bought, um, random dollar digs and things like that, that I'm still going through. So I went through that and looked and some of it was just not in salvageable condition. Some of it was like in a big buy and I was like, eh, I don't really want it. So I pulled some of that stuff out. To my right is my equipment. And I had a two by four Kallax that really wasn't being maximized to its efficiency. So I moved most of the, you gotta go through this crap over there to go through the crap, which gave me an entire extra row because everything was tight. I needed space because I have a problem. Hence why we make videos. Um, so the main collection didn't lose anything. I just more, I was more efficient with my storage and there we go. So yes, this is a collection update. I haven't done one of these in forever. And trust me, I'm gonna be doing a lot of them because I have enough to probably do about 10. I know it's bad. So almost two minutes, I'm shutting up. Let's show some records. Um, so first one I have here, um, have it on CD, but my CDs are, I've mentioned before, up north, packed away. And I was really in the mood to hear it. So I uh, went on uh, the internet, found a copy at a great price, and uh, pulled the trigger. And that's uh, Fat Boy Slim's You Come a Long Way, Baby. Uh, his second major label release under the moniker Fat Boy Slim. He's been under many monikers, Beats International, Fat Boy Slim, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this kind of focuses on the big beat era. Well, Fat Boy Slim at least does. Um, so, you know, we all know right here, right now, and praise you. Um, I feel like there's another one that I'm forgetting off of this one. Uh, Gangsta Trippin', Rockefeller Skank, right about now, the Funk Soul Brother, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> was really in the mood to hear this, didn't have it in my possession. I mean, I have it, like I said, on CD, but I didn't have it with me. So pulled the trigger on it, love it. it, sounds great on wax. So I was happy to add that to the collection. But while I was searching, I was shocked because I hadn't heard about this. And this is Fatboy Slim's Back to Mine. And I was like, ooh, a new Fatboy Slim album. What is this? Well, I bought it and it's a new album, but it's a comp. It's a comp of songs that have inspired him that maybe he sampled. It's a, I was disappointed in the fact it wasn't a new Fat Boy Slim album. But when I spun it, I realized that, you know, hey, I know a couple of these songs I know from he sampled and stuff like that. And there were a couple of really good groovers. So I kind of tucked it away for a minute and pulled it back out a couple weeks later and listened to it again with fresh ears. And I really enjoyed this comp. Um, it is kind of all over the map as far as for older stuff and newer stuff. Um, you have a, a Betty Chung uh, doing a, a what sounds to be, uh, well, she's doing Bang Bang. And it was, uh, um, I guess she's from Hong Kong because she sings it in Chinese. Uh, but it sounds fantastic. It's absolutely funky. Um, so I'm going to give you a, a couple of uh, tastes off this one. Um, if you like what you hear, I do recommend you go and kind of look at the track listing and, and see what's up. But be careful because, like I said, this is not a Fat Boy Slim new music album. This is a comp of things that have inspired him. Um, but 
a lot of this music would fit well in a Tarantino film. Let me put it to you like that. So, uh, but anyway, here's a couple tastes off of uh, the Fat Boy Slim comp. Back to mine. Have to praise you like I should. You're so rare, so fine. I'm so glad you're mine. You're so. Hendrix, Elia oh, Neptune, don't really need to discuss this much. Um, I sent the copy of this to Emma for Christmas, um, and it was such a good price. I needed, I said, you know, I, don't, I, I still have my CD, but I was like, mm -hmm, I don't have vinyl, because, you know, it's Hendrix. So, picked that one up. I was glad to do it. Great price. Sounds fantastic. Picked up the reissue of Purple from Stone Temple Pilots. So, I talked about Core when that came in. My wife got that for me for my birthday last year. Um, and it sounded okay. Um, I cleaned it and it sounded better. But I think that album tops in at 50 something minutes and it gets tinny. You know, 90s production on vinyl didn't happen. This album is a little shorter and it sounds better. It sounds a little fuller. Um, again, on Atlantic, um, this one actually came in a polyline sleeve. Um, so I was very happy about that, very affordable. Uh, so I'm glad to have purple on wax. So the Stone Temple Pilots collection is coming along nicely. Um, I, I do want to get um, Tiny Music for... I am one of the few people that can like Shangri-La-di-da. Shangri -la uh, so I want to get that one. Um, so, yeah. Then there's Bob Mould. So <laughs> funny story on this one. Um, I actually sent this this exact copy i sent this to john digital gramophone for christmas well he had already got one got one from jeff kempen so he didn't need this i sent him something else as well so he had something new to spin um but i said hey let me make it right send that back to me and i sent him something else he's like oh, i don't have to like shut up just 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 send me the record back and when i got back I was really, I was like, okay, I'll just send this back. And I really got to thinking. I was like, man, this is, this is Bob Mould. I haven't listened to Bob Mould in a while. What's he up to? So I sliced it. I kept it. And man, am I glad I did. Yeah. This is really making me want to go down, back down the rabbit hole with Whisker Do. And, and just pick up some of the, the, the classic Whisker Do stuff that I don't have. Um, pick up some more Bob Mold because this thing just, it punches you in the face and doesn't let go. Uh, so I actually, I'm gonna give you a, a couple quick tastes off of this one. Um, this one came out last year, it was a new album last year. Highly recommend it. Um, there's a couple different variants, I just got the Black Wax. Um, but it sounds fantastic. Um, and it really, really does a great job of, of kind of capturing that angst, that attitude that Bob Mould has. So really love this album, worth your time. Uh, so let's check out a couple cuts off of Bob Mould. <laughs>
So, most recently was Valentine's Day. And my wife, in her amazing fashion, spoiled the ever-loving bejesus out of me. So, um, she went and picked up, and you can see, you'll see where she shopped, because these are all limited to that particular store. And I, there's been conversations about buying vinyl from Walmart or Target before. And you know what? I'm not here to entertain that conversation. I really am not. Um, what someone does with their money is their business. And if you're supporting the artist, that's important. And it's not like any of us here in the final community shun any of our local stores. I think we freak with them more than anybody else in the known free world. We try to get out there every chance we get. So I'm not even going to entertain these conversations. So anyway, picking up the new Foo Fighters. So this is the uh, limited edition cover from Target. Um, I love this album. I mean, it really is good. Um, the first song, Shame Shame, really isn't quite as indicative of what the rest of the album sounds like. The rest of the album is kind of an upbeat rocker and it's a lot of fun. Um, you got to respect the fact that Dave Grohl is still putting things on tape and, and doing it in an analog way. Um, I just wish they'd have picked a better cover. I, this, this cover is just weird. But wait, there's more kids. She got me Evanescence. Now, she's a huge Evanescence fan, so I, I have no problem with my wife uh, grabbing this one for me. I mean, this album just kicks so much ass, and I, I too, am an Evanescence fan. They just announced we have a release date for the new one, uh, March 26th, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, this is on the limited edition silver. Sounds fantastic. No issues with this whatsoever, so I was glad to have that, um, which means I can stop looking for the CD, which is always in, my, in the car as my wife, and um, I can spin this one. So, uh, This is one of my wife's favorite albums, and she saw that and saw his limited edition purple, which is one of her and my favorite colors. So she was like, why can't I get him that? So uh, she got me uh, the Pearl Jam 10. Uh, I know there's been pressings where people have again sounded, uh, said it sounded a little tinny towards the end and stuff like that. Um, I like this pressing actually. I think it sounds really good all the way through. Uh, this one was actually, I think, pressed in uh, Europe. That was a little what I thought when I looked it up. Um, pressed on purple vinyl. It doesn't say it there, but it said somewhere. Um, or I'm just making it up to make myself feel good. But anyway, it, I love the sound on this particular pressing. I think it's well done. Um, and it's just a phenomenal album. This album never gets old and it never sounds dated. And then lastly, um, one that I missed because I was trying to be nice uh, and give my family something that they could always easily get me for Christmas and they failed, but I have it now because of my awesome wife, um, which is on orange vinyl, and that is the excerpt from Winterland. Um, this will do me very, very well. I've played it a lot. Um, until I can find a box set at a price that will not cause me to rip out my kidney and donate it. So, um, very happy to have this. It's obviously, like I said, exclusive color. Sounds fantastic. It's Jimmy. It's pressed to QRP, so it's the, the sound that you would expect. So, very happy with that one. Uh, recent edition, as in, like, literally, I think, in the last few days, uh, they just re-released this for the 30th, 30th, 30th anniversary. This album is 30 years old. Ah! <laughs> Feels like it just came out like a couple years ago for crying out loud. Um, obviously we're talking about the debut masterpiece that is the Shake Your Money Maker from the Black Crows. Um, they remastered this from the original analog tape. It sounds amazing. My only, my only gripe on this is, uh, She Talks to Angel sounds a touch bright to me, but that could be because there's not as much heavy guitar in that. And the rest of the album is just kind of EQ'd for that, um, that, that heavy blues guitar sound. So other than that, sounds fantastic. Uh, I was cranking it up earlier today. So this one kicks 
all kinds of major buttocks. So we're going to talk about this one for a minute. Um, and it's good timing that I'm talking about this and I was able to get this recently because this band is once again making some noise and that's Dirty Honey. And either you are going, yes, or going, I have no idea who that is. Um, so Dirty Honey was the song that opened my video um, when I'm gone. So this band uh, formed in 2017 in uh, LA. Obviously they have a heavy blues rock sound. Zeppelin's been a huge influence and you can hear them in there. You can hear the Black Crows. You also can hear a little bit of Guns N' Roses. I hear a little bit of Badlands. Some people have said they heard Skid Row and I'm like, I can't quite argue that you're crazy, but I don't know. They, f they sound very much at home in that late 80s blues driven hard rock slash metal that came out, you know, Skid Row, Guns N' Roses, Badlands, Dangerous Toys. They have that kind of energy. They're not, I mean, they're definitely not sleaze metal like a Dangerous Toys band would be or a Jackal because of the lyrics. But I mean, bluesy, punch you right in the face. This band is incredible. So, formed in 2017, um, you know, kind of did the local scene, played some bars, wrote some songs, and then they set out to record this EP, which is called Dirty Honey, and you got six songs on it. Awesome center label. They are, they are true independent. They are not signed to a major label. And... Um, Recorded it, mastered it. They're going to print it themselves on an EP. The EP is a little expensive. You can only get it from their website. Um, but I was happy to get it. But they also sold it digitally. Now, it's on the internet, so it must be true. But apparently, within 24 hours of this being out into the world, radio stations started playing it. No hype. No press kits. Just, what the hell is this? And we need to play it. When I'm Gone has taken over rock radio. If you have a true rock and roll radio station in your area, chances are you might have heard this song. They have two videos out for this EP, When I'm Gone and Rolling Sevens. And as of yesterday, they just did a new video for their first full-length album, uh, which is also called Dirty Honey. Um, and this song is called California Dream, and it is not the same, you know, California Dream from the 60s. But I highly recommend this band. Uh, if you like blues rock, Zeppelin, you're going to love them. If you're into hard rock and metal, you're going to dig them. These guys kick a lot of ass. So I gave you a taste up top. Let me give you a little bit extra right now to kind of whet your appetite with Dirty Honey. Sing stretch uh, three more um, in addition from tone, uh, tone poet shit this is not a tone poet this is the this is the uh, classic series um, this is one of the two most recent releases for the classic series from Blue Note uh, something else Cannibal Adderley I've wanted a press of this for so long and when I saw this was on the on on the list to get the classic series uh, treatment I said I'm waiting for that one and pre-ordered it got it the day it came out and was extremely thrilled to add this one to the collection with all of these classic series with tone poets they are just doing it right um, Paul Baraka P dub kind of shared did a re video recently where he was talking about his 
reasonings for wanting to walk away from Vinyl Me Please. And, um, you know, one of the things was that the people were doing audiophile pressings and they weren't quite getting audiophile. But here you are with Blue Note between Tone Poet, which, I mean, you can find most Tone Poets under 30 bucks. And the classic series are coming out at like 25. If, if any of them are on your radar, just get those. Because I'm telling you, they sound phenomenal. And the fact that Blue Note controls its masters and you've got Kevin Gray doing the mastering, they sound just absolutely divine. Worth every penny. In fact, I feel like we're underpaying for the quality compared to some of these other places of what they're charging. Totally worth it. So pick this one up. This was another also recent score. Raw power. Um, believe it or not, I have no Stooges on vinyl. Well, now I do. Um, but I, ha I actually had my eye on this one for a long time. Uh, this is the 2LP re-release that has the original mix from 73, which was, if I'm not mistaken, that was Bowie. And then it has the Iggy Pop 97 remaster. Um, I spun them back to back because it's raw power. You can't listen to this album just once. I mean, I'm familiar with the Stooges catalog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't have any on wax. Um, so I, I, I played the Bowie. Then I played the, the Iggy Pop. The Iggy Pop sounds a little brighter. It sounds... It sounds like you would expect an album recorded in the 80s or 90s to be mastered. But that 73 grittiness... That's me. That's what I want. So, uh, also came with a wonderful booklet as well on the recording of Raw Power and their, you know, the importance of the band. You know, at this point, if you don't know who the Stooges are, I got nothing for you. Um, just go on the internet and start listening because uh, they kick ass. So. So I'm glad I finally scored some Stooges on, on wax. Um, and then lastly, um, I didn't even know this got a reissue, to be blatantly honest. And I had seen it in a store, um, a store's flip video, like, hey, we're going to show you all the new stuff we got in. And I, you know, it's a video, so you couldn't go, go back. I, I, what? So I did some research and... Um, I saw that this was re reissued and I pounced on it real quick. And this is Harmonia. Um, so this is, for lack of a better word, Krautrock. I'm not a big fan of that word, um, but you know, we've kind of accepted that word here as what it is. Um, so you have um, a member from New and two members from Cluster. And I am horrible at names, especially when they are you know, Rother, Mobius, and Rodelius, sure. <laughs> um, but this is Music von Harmonia, and this is their debut. This was uh, a 20, I want to say it's a 2015 reissue. Yeah, 2015, 2015 reissue by Groenland Records, and they did an absolute phenomenal job. This sounds amazing. It's on the brain label, which I am in love if i see the brain label chances are i'm gonna buy it it's just what i am and what i do <coughs> excuse me um so just to kind of give you a little bit of uh, of that i gave you i'm gonna give you that a little bit at the end so um but anyway thanks for watching everybody it's been a long minute since i've done one of these and about time i get back on the horse so i uh, apologize from the long break from it it's just been crazy um, for those of you who, who don't know, um, and I won't get into a lot about my job, but um, where there's weather, there's work, and where there's work, there's me analyzing it. So think about you know all the storms last year, then you think about what unfortunately happened to the people, the good people of Texas recently. I've been busy, and you know so, um, but I'm trying to make time for the things I love, which is music 
and sharing it with you guys. So um, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I've got a good three more of these collection updates planned very soon. Uh, one of them, if you're watching and you're one of those hard rock and heavy metal fans, will be dedicated to that genre. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I may even have one of those other buzzwords that's floating around a bunch of prog. So, but I hey, I like prog. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop rambling. Check out Music Von Harmonic at the end. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Be kind for no reason at all. Peace.